Recording has commenced. We're playing a game today. Well, what is that? It's four minutes worth of time for a single player game start. Here we are in a diverse world. No real theme with this one other than that it's a diverse world. Done this one plenty of times before, and it's been a while, so uh, I came back to it. And me saying it's been a while very well could be that I did this last week and have zero memory of it because my brain is awful. Anyway, actually, I'm going to put my glasses on for this because I want the most high fidelity I can give my eyes to give me the best chance of getting a good score here on potential what I think could be New Zealand. Anyway, how we doing? It is our uh, not semi-weekly, tri-weekly, yeah, three times a week video we put out all about guessing locations around the world, sometimes theme-based, sometimes not, sometimes suggested by you guys, sometimes it's not. If you guys have suggestions for maps, as I've said so many times before, you go ahead, put them down below in the comments, along with your likes, favorites, comments, subscribes, referrals. Although, I don't know if this would be one of those things where, like, if you actually had somebody, and you're like, hey, I watched this, you should, you should check out a video, and they're like, why do you watch this? I do this a lot with music that I listen to, or I will, this is like a lot of nothing here, and I haven't, hmm, um, where, like, man, this song is awesome, I love it, I listen to it all the time, like, uh, when I first heard about uh, Big Black Delta, and I forget the name of the actual album, it might be self-titled, it came out in, like, 2013, actually, I can do this right now, pardon me for one moment, I'm gonna search my Spotify, um, let's go to the artist page, and look to see when albums came out, 2013, that's when this came out. Anyway, fantastic album. Love it. A lot of great songs on that. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. It's a recommendation of mine. I know I've talked about it before. And wow, this has been a lot of nothing. I got a minute 30 left. Rutherford Memorial Hall. Okay, I can finally see a car. And if my camera lens is of good quality. Okay, we are at least if not in New Zealand, Australia, but I'm going to venture a guess and say we're down here. Um, but, like, I'll play the song for somebody who's like, man, I love the song. I'm going to listen to it nonstop. And they're just like, it's okay. And they're like, how can you not like this? It's, it, it's apparently hitting everything that I really like in a song. And then they do the same for you. It's, it's a weird thing when, when you think, like, just something that, you listen to is like, oh man, I've just heard of this. This song's amazing. I love it. And as soon as you're like, try to share this with somebody else and they just don't have the same like triggers to make them really like a song like you do. And then it's just like, well, why don't you like it? I like it. You know, it's, it's a weird thing. Belgrove Tavern. Hmm. Ooh, we do have a sign for Belgrove. Uh, I got 20 seconds. Let's see if we can't find it here. Probably not. Anyway, how's your week doing? Uh, I know I spent a very long time on uh, Monday just gushing about Louisiana. And it's, well, really kind of just one place. But honestly, that's just kind of how I felt about it. I mean, that's my whole point of doing the Monday ones of, okay, I did get the, how close were we to Belgrove? 88 Valley, I see. I got the island right. I'll give myself the points there. Okay. This, I don't know about. Um, what was I saying? Nothing of importance, but anyway, we're past that. Uh, weeks. What did I do? Fuck. Such a very important thing that I... Buru, buru. I believe this is going to be an African one. Where exactly yet, I don't know. But I'm hoping that one of these signs can help me out here. Afia Equity. Maybe it'll be on the backside. 
We are flying through here. All right, what do we got? It's Buru Buru, but I don't know what Buru 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 is. What's this say? The point next to Niva Supermarket. Gertrude's. Talking about music, something dumb. Um, but how's our weeks? I, yeah, it's Buru Buru. I don't know where the fuck that is. Um, I've, I actually started making, uh, hard cider now. I, it was such a, like, I was very nervous over the weekend doing it just because of, like, all the things I read, all about it. They just super stress the point of, like, you gotta make sure everything's sanitized. And I, I went out of the way and bought, um, specific, uh, cleaner. You know, it, it's basically the same stuff if you were to go to, like, any factory that makes food or any other breweries. It's This is kind of the same stuff they use, like, Sandy Star or something like that. It's a thing where you squeeze it into a little reservoir, and it's like, don't ever touch this on your skin unless you don't want your skin. It's one of those things. And I was just super thorough about everything, and I was just worried that, like, oh, it's touching air. There's going to be a chance of it actually getting infected. Or not infected, just, you know, contaminated in another sense multiple washings of stuff. Nairobi, here we go. Can I see a buru buru around Nairobi? Let's uh take a little look here. If it's not Nairobi, it's maybe close to it. Hmm. And then I was kinda like in between um I almost think that like maybe this is a diocese of Kenya, but what they're doing is outreach in a sense where it's going to be other places in the country here. But until I find something otherwise, I'm going to say this is uh, Nairobi. But I spent a lot of time. Is that a armored truck? No. I think it's postal. Making sure everything was clean and good to go. And I went. Heat everything up, reading a bunch of stuff. I was just like overthinking it to the max. Like the first time you're doing something, you want to make sure you're doing it right and perfect. Top up here. This is a bar. Oh, it's a phone thing. Um, and I did all the steps. I heated things up. I made sure everything was sealed, pressure, all that stuff. And long story short, it's been going for a while. It's really crazy seeing like, uh, stuff you make at home, the the hard cider when you see it actually going. It it was like they warned you it does have a bit of a funk smell to it. I mean I have it in my locker uh locker, my closet right now. And it's just cool going in there in the morning. I just need to see nonstop bubbles coming out of that thing. It's like very weird. And got a couple more days worth of uh probably this stage before it goes to the next one where like <clears throat> this stage is all the yeast and everything that's in there is just going to town on all the sugar you dumped into it. Ooh, we ran out of time. And eventually it's going to get to the point, it was very close, where all the sugar's gone, and then you move it out of that to put it into another little tank. Is this Taiwan? Like, this is a tassel between Japan and Taiwan <clears throat> right now, and I'm not entirely sure which one it is yet. So we're going to put this, like, right here. And it's fun. I mean, it, there, there's a bit of a investment you got to do to actually get it to start. And I'm still a little worried about actually uh, the next part when it's taken out of this, this thing and sitting in now to put in another one. This one, I think, is Taiwan. I feel like I've had something similar to this before with this type of writing on a road very close to this where it was on this side of the island. Now, I actually never went... When I was on here, I never went to this side of the island. I only went to, <clears throat> excuse me, went to uh, Taipei, Taoyuan, uh, Tainan, and Kaohsiung. A lot of fun. Um, but that's my, that's, that's basically how my weekend was. It was a nice three-day weekend. I uh, relaxed. Like I said, I think I said on Friday that like I just really didn't want to work. It was just one of those things where, man, I just, yeah, there's the Taiwanese flag. Anyway, I was just, I'm done. I just don't want to work. It's the, those feelings you get 
and you're like, man, I just, I just almost called out just for, just to take a day. But thankfully, it was right around the time that a nice three day weekend was coming, and I enjoyed it. Crazy thing also about uh, a certain park. I, it, it was a, I think it was a park or a farm. I can't remember exactly where it was that. It was a tea farm or a plantation, I guess you could call it. And all above us in the parking lot, it was like kind of like this setup. But all above me was 8 billion freaking spiders just everywhere. I had like a photo of it somewhere in my, um, in my photo album somewhere. And like this doesn't help me now because I don't think I'm going to find it in time to post up here. But it was just... Thousands of spiders. It was it was weird that they were just above me like that, and to think that there would have been like enough food. Like if you were looking up here, spider, 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 spider everywhere. Isn't that wild? Seem to be on probably road twenty seven. Now the problem is that could be anything. Eighty nine. Like oh look we're found Taiwan. That's weird that it's just right there. But I'm going to say we're down here. Maybe in the forest down here. 27. Can I see a 27 somewhere here? Potentially. Alright, we've got the 9. we got 26. 26 is almost 27. I think that's probably the dumbest thing I'll say all day is 26 is almost 27 um man I feel like it's gotta be down here is it one of the little islands because I remember doing this once and it got bamboozled on a uh, position that was there but it doesn't appear to be 27 here we go how much 27 we got here I don't think we're really near water are we now this is metropolitan, kind of built up here. I don't feel that this is actually like a 27, but I'm just going to leave it at that with the time up. Oh, we were up actually in an area that I was potentially near. And look, there's a 27. We were near a community center. Miaoli County. Mayaoli, maybe? I don't know. We continue on. Um, European. Maybe Italy? 300 and something. Well, this is a weird road. Maybe this is more like uh, Greece? Wait, wait, wait. Let's back up a smidge. Oh, shit. Well, this is Spain or Portugal. Or South America. Man, this is... Not a good assumption on my part. Let's let's see if I can't see this little sign here. This is some fucking beautiful looking landscape here. We got a Servarola. Armino Ar Agricultural, maybe? Hospitality, restaurant, and camping. <clears throat> this doesn't help me. This is really nice looking though. This is crazy. Camera and camping doesn't help me. Will this help me? Well, they do get snow here. Or at least cold temperatures. We're going to be going down a bunch of switchbacks here. This is potentially going to be a... I mean, this is going to be beautiful to look at, but I am going to get a very bad score, I think, on this. Just because of potential... Man, I would love to drive this. Nice windy road going through the woods like this. This is great. This speaks to me, as only a road can do. Is that a... Okay, no. Is there anything here that could potentially tell me where we are? Just looking at, like, signs or markings on the road. A lot of trails through here, though. That doesn't help me. Like, figure out where we are. Like, oh, only certain countries hike way more than others. This feels... 
is this like northern Spain? Like the end uh, on the uh, Pyrenees? Is that the Pyrenees? Maybe. So it's not the Pyrenees. This is like Argentina. I'm going to get such a bad score. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pian del Falco. Shit. It's just, just, I can easily decipher all of this stuff as like, oh, this very well could be Portuguese. Until I see a flag letting me know, hey, we're in this country now. I would very much like to visit this, wherever this is. This is really nice. That's some interesting graffiti. What do we got? Yo, push. We got some very naughty language on this. It says AR. Am I to assume that this means Argentina? <laughs> this is how much I'm like. Look at that. That's great. More, more, uh, foul language. You do have a ski resort, it looks like here, or a ski lift of some sort. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Mora Arita. Like, if I, f I almost feel like if this was actually on the Spanish and French coast, finally, with, oh. Ah, it was Italy. It's just my brain fighting. Hold on a sec. Yep. It was just, it was never going to get this. Nice adventure park, though. This, that's a really cool drive. I'm fine with getting a bad score there. That was, that's nice. Now, finally, for the last one, is this England? No. <laughs> We're uh, squarely in this section of the world. All right. Hmm. It's a school, or at least a school building. I need to see the color of the road signs here. That's a cool little sculpture. I got some bikes, lots of bikes. Dog food. Hmm. KJ's dog food. Those look like cat things. Someone's lying here. Let's head down a road and look at this truck. Yeah, you have a URL there. Almost looks like a K, but I'm not going to assume yet. I did see a little helpful poster, or whatever you want to call it, image that actually told license plates in the EU. But, ooh, there is a couple of uh, vehicles here to potentially look at. That is not going to help me. I'm hoping this one Denmark, I believe. DK? Yep. Alright. Now to narrow this down a bit more. Mad Med Mare. What are you doing to this? Redoing some brick laying graffiti or something. Ooh, that looks like a... Okay, I thought that was like an ambulance. <clears throat> that might tell me something. Or is this a house? That's just a house. All right, let's get off this side street. Wow, I got like no time left. What happened? I'm going to stay on this road because I feel there's going to be some signage here to tell me where to go. Any moment now. One sec. Excuse me. We're just going to keep going. Hopefully get to the end of this to actually get... That was a bus. I think it turned away, so... I have to pick a place... I'm going to say we're outside Copenhagen, even though this really could be anything. 
Because this is probably another like, oh, you've seen it everywhere. We got Salon Clipsen. It's a good name. Otto Versk Strat. <clears throat> Otto Verstedt. Let's see. Do you say where we are? It probably does. Except that word, that's telephone. Unless we're in telephone Denmark. I don't know. I feel like this is just another, like, procedurally generated suburban area for uh, a Danish city that I'm never actually going to find the end of. That doesn't help me. I think I finally got to an intersection with me. Yep, I did. E45's there. Where's Horby? Uh, 15's there, so I'm going to click right around here. Uh, Horby is 15. E45 to 585. Hmm. <clears throat> I think this might... Oh, we were way the fuck north. Well, I got the country at least. I said view summary. Game finished. Well done, it says. I got a uh, okay score this time. Anyway, that's going to do it for our uh, Wednesday edition of GeoGuessr. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, observations, suggestions for maps, or anything you itself go ahead and put them in the comments below i will read them and get back to you week's halfway done surprisingly it's a three-day weekend means a very quick week for me at least uh friday's gonna be here before you know it and i'll be here waiting so until then have a good one folks good boy.